Whether by seal or by stone, tests of strength have been part of Scotland's history for hundreds of years. And today, we pay homage to that tradition with one of the oldest and most complete tests of strength in the world, the deadlift. Inside the P&J Center in Aberdeen, Scotland, we are set to kick off the Strong Woman competition with event one, the deadlift ladder presented by Strongest. Glad you're with us, everybody. I'm Sean Woodland with Kristen Rhodes and Lauren Chalet. And Kristen, you have been a part of the growth of the sport of strong women. We saw them at the Arnold Strong Woman Classic in Columbus earlier this year. Now they're here at the Rogue Invitational. What's it like for you to see them on this stage? Honestly, this is in incredible for me. I competed from 2006 to 2020, and this is the things that we dreamed about. We dreamed of being on the same stage with the men. We dreamed about, I mean, it's unbelievable the women are getting the same prize money as the men for the first time ever. When I heard that, I got emotional about it because it just really means a lot, and I'm excited to be here and see what happens. If you're a fan of fitness, you are in the right spot. We have a jam-packed Friday here in Aberdeen on day number one of the 2024 Rogue Invitational. We're going to have three strongman and strong woman events and then three crossfit events as well we're going to kick it off with the deadlift ladder for the strong man and the strong women and then the crossfit athletes will be out next with their opening event quicksand here are the competitors who we will be seeing today in the strong woman competition and all of these women competed at the Arnold Strong Woman Classic in Columbus. And Kristen, I know one battle you're looking forward to seeing is Angelica Jardine taking on Rebecca Roberts. Yes, Angelica came out on day one at the Arnold. She was middle of the pack. On day two, she came out and absolutely wowed everybody, wowed the crowd. She came out. I mean, honestly, the, her stone to shoulder was probably one of the most inspirational lifts I've ever seen in my career. And then we have Rebecca Roberts, who's you know two-time world strongest woman, and I think she's here. She's been training. She's ready to take this title, and she's she's looking focused. There's a deadlift bar on the floor. One athlete you have to talk about is Lucy Underdown. And for more on her, let's bring in the fourth member of our broadcast crew, Kiki Dixon. I was able to catch up with Lucy, who has a 716 pound deadlift. She is the world record holder for this event. I chatted with her about it being the opening event for the Rogue Invitational, and clearly she is pleased as punch. She knows it's gonna give her a good position. She's looking for the win, and then wants to carry that momentum into the rest of the events later today. I'm excited, she's excited. I hope you guys are excited too. How can you not be excited to watch Lucy Underdown lift, Laws? And we got the deadlift ladder here presented by Strongest. A little bit of a different format than we're used to seeing in a rising bar system. A little bit different. We've got these 10 incredible bars on the field of play. The athletes get to have three attempts. They choose which bar they want to lift. If anyone can get up to that final heavy bar, they are allowed to add weight to it. But it's all about brute strength. Who can lift the most weight? Check out the order of competitors. We get set to kick off event number one for the strong women here. We'll go lightest to heaviest, and the weight can never be lighter. So Melissa Peacock is going to be out first at 525 pounds, and we'll work our way towards the heavier lifters. And as you mentioned, Laws, things can really get interesting if we have multiple athletes get to that final platform. Yeah, I mean, we had five of these athletes went over 600 pounds at the Arnold's earlier this year. So I'm expecting to see some big, big lifts. As Kristen already mentioned, you know, we've got the world record holder here. Lucy Underdown is just in a league of her own when it comes to the deadlift. But it's so important to get a good start to the whole competition. We've got six total events in this contest and a good start really sets you up well. And, and really coming into the deadlift here, this is going to be strategy. Like these women really have to strategize who's going to be where, um, who they're following, and you only have three attempts. Three so. attempts, yeah. You, you really don't have time. I mean, this first attempt is all about just getting the confidence on the field of play, get used to the environment, get that safe lift in. Then you start thinking about points on that second lift, and then maybe a really big, either a big third lift or a strategic third lift to get points. And we've mentioned her multiple times here, but Lucy Underdown has got to be the favorite oh, to most, win this event. Most definitely. She pulled a 325 kilo, which was 717 pounds last month in Vegas at the Deadlift World Championships. And she's just so far in a league of her own and so far ahead of everybody. It's going to be really exciting to see what she does here today. She really is. When it comes to deadlifting, she's the most dominant athlete on the planet right now. And there is Hannah Lindsay. And that is the woman you want to send out first to get this crowd fired up. I love watching Hannah. She's such an incredible athlete, such a, a fierce competitor as well. Always fights hard. Yeah. 
Hannah Lindsay getting set for her first of three lifts. She will be starting at the 500 five pound bar. That's about 229 kilos. So strapping herself to the bar. This contest only allowing these normal straps. You're not allowed the figure of eight straps. You're not allowed a power suit either when it comes to the Rogue Invitational. So these are raw lifts in terms of strongman rules. All about how strong you are. Strapped in, drives hard with the legs. There we go. And a nice solid nice. opening lift, 505, no problem for Hannah Lindsay. And as we are used to seeing with Hannah, a little <laughs> bit of blood coming out of the nose, but that's <laughs> that's normal now. Yeah, she could have gotten that eating breakfast as intense as she is, so <laughs> that might just be left over. The 505, about 229 kilos for Hannah Lindsay, and here comes Sam Beliveau. Sam's a fantastic athlete, isn't she, Krista? Just really well-rounded. Deadlift, potentially her weakest event, though, of the, the six that we have this weekend. Right, she's definitely more of an overhead presser, but she's, she's, she's pulled mid-fives, so it should be interesting to see what she does here, if she can PR. Sam Beliveau had a pretty incredible performance at the Arnold Strong Women Classic back in March. A 180-pound dumbbell, two reps on that, 185. Uh -huh. That dumbbell pressure. I was, was trying insane. to make myself feel better by taking weight <laughs> off of it. Yeah, oh, that was insane. <laughs> so Sam is also opening on 505. Bellavo is good at 505. Yeah. A little bit of a different technique that we saw between her and, and Hannah Lindsay. You saw Hannah roll that bar towards her. What what does that help with if you're if you're one of those athletes that likes to roll it and then engage I, I the lift? think with rolling it, it really is more of like a stretch reflex. It allows you to, to roll the bar, drop down in, and, and drive drive that bar up off the floor. Versus more of a static where you're dropping into the bar and you're digging your feet through the straight through the floor. With Donna Moore up next. Absolute legend of strong woman. Three-time world's strongest woman. I believe, I don't like saying it, but I believe she's the oldest athlete in the field. I think she is. 44 years 44. old. Yeah. Still going strong. Her training has been very, very good recently. I, I kind of was lucky enough to see her training one of her build-up sessions, and she's really, really... Uh, a fire has been lit by this competition. Yeah. All the women are so excited to be here. As you mentioned earlier, on the same stage as the men. Everything is the same. That, that's what I've noticed, too, watching there. And look uh, at this, no straps. And a mixed grip. Mixed grip, powerlifting style. Look at this. Woo! What a lift there by Donna Moore. 525 pounds, 238 kilos. Good for the opening lift. And that for was Donna a, Moore. That was the same thing she did with Arnold. She came out without any straps and mixed grip, and she, I think she's the only athlete in the field to not be pulling the straps. Yeah, sometimes, uh, sometimes you just feel more connected in that kind of reverse grip. You can dive straight down, and yeah, I mean, every athlete when it comes to deadlift has a slightly different technique, but leg strength, super important. Back strength, super important, obviously. It's a real test of pure power when it comes to the deadlift, and you have to give, you know, Props to someone like Donna there who came out without the straps because a lot of the athletes will use the straps so that grip isn't an issue. Right. Well, it's a peacock out of Saskatchewan, Canada. Will be up next. And she will be opening up at 525 pounds, 238 kilos as well. I mean, this is normally a very good deadlifter. I've seen her pull some huge numbers in various different competitions. Very powerful lower body, strong legs, strong glutes. She loves the deadlift normally. Yeah. I mean, look at those legs. Yeah. A lot of power. <laughs> They're definitely <laughs> built for, for squatting and deadlifting. Yeah. So 525 pounds for Melissa Peacock, strapping herself to the bar. 
the fourth athlete to go here in round number one. Now, as we see often in a rising bar system, we may have the same athlete lift multiple times before we see someone like Lucy Underdown actually get out on the floor. And Melissa well, Peacock has no problems with 525. That was a beautiful lift there. Really smooth, very confident opening lift for Melissa. But yeah, as you said, Sean, I mean, someone like Lucy, someone like um, Andrea Thompson, Olga, they are huge deadlifters, and we might not see them for a while yet. We may see athletes come out and do all three lifts before we see one of those go. Well, their opening lifts are listed on the left side of your screen, and right now, under down at 625 as Angelica Jardine makes her way out onto the floor. First time we've seen her since that surprising win at the Arnold Strongman Classic, and she was one of the best stories of the entire weekend. Oh, by far. She's just kind of come from nowhere. You know, a few years ago, we didn't know who this young lady was. Now she is one of the absolute best strength athletes on the planet. Winner of the Arnold Strongwoman contest. And now she wants to add the Rogue Invitational to her resume. Does it make you want to get out there and compete again? <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching this and just, it's just incredible to be here and to have these women be here and have this opportunity and it, yeah i know i could hang well i used to be able to hang <laughs> that's the problem isn't it I, 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 I used to be able to hang i don't think i could anymore yeah. i think we're safer sat here correct <laughs> the older you get the better you were <laughs> yes it? very much so <laughs> well angelica jardine is going to take a seat because i think sam bellabo is going to make another attempt she's belting up so this is what we talked about where they we have to wait. It's a rising bar. So they, once they pass away, they can't go back. So this is where Sam has that, what was three minutes? Yes. So if an athlete wants to follow themselves, they're allowed three minutes to um, get that, which really isn't long, if you, especially when you start yeah. going towards that, that max effort. The Bellow is jumping up to 525. Now on the left side of your screen, any number listed in black is a number that the athlete has made. The rest that are in white are numbers that have yet to be attempted. And it's only three attempts, so you've really got to get these attempts, the selections correct. It's definitely a strategy. What would you be doing, Kristen? I mean, how, how would you kind of plan out your lifts? Would you just do something safe to start with, or would you push yourself? I would have safe to start to get on the board to not zero, and then I would have gone towards my at-home gym max, and then I would have gone for broke and probably added about 50 pounds. Yeah. You see this extra 25 pounds is, is looking heavy. Yeah. Bellavo already has a good lift on the board at 5.05. This is her second of three attempts. 525 pounds for Samantha. Come on. And just not able to pull it. Not there. Now, Bellavo will be able to make another attempt at that weight. So it's likely we're going to take the three minutes of rest here, and then she'll be back out for her third and final attempt. So, Laws, the difference here between pulling on an elephant bar and pulling on a straight bar, I mean, it's a big difference in terms of... A little bit. The elephant bars are much longer than these bars, right. so the weight is out further when they're actually pulling. But I, I think we'll still see similar weights lifted in terms of max efforts. Don't think it's going to affect it too much. The elephant bar is slightly thicker, slightly longer. It looks epic. More crown, yeah. But we've wanted, to, you know, people have been asking to see just a standard deadlift and see what these athletes can pull. I just hope someone can push Lucy, Lucy. to do something special, but yeah. she's so, so good. Hannah Lindsay is now up for her second of three attempts. Trying to succeed, Rebellabo failed at 525, and Lindsay... There you go, there you go. ...is going to get that. Nice. nice. There we go. And the nose. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Do you think she'd be disappointed if there was no blood? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> what a character. I just love her energy. She's just, she's so fun to watch. She's so she intense. Is. Very, very intense athlete. I'll take one more look at Hannah Lindsay's second lift at 525 pounds. as Sam Bellavo will likely be the next woman out. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it really wasn't the lift that mattered. It was what happened afterward that was really the most <laughs> impressive thing. Now Sam Bellavo is going to clean up the barbell from Hannah Lindsay's attempt. That guy's got the best job yeah. all weekend, doesn't he? <laughs> He's going to follow Lindsay follow, around. Yeah. <laughs> So Sam Bellavu's first lift at five or five, I thought that looked pretty solid. It looked it looked good. It didn't look like she struggled it, at yeah, all. It looked like five twenty five would, would be there, but it shows sometimes that twenty pound jump is just it creeps up fast. I can't see her coming back to get this. What what, she, what can she change to come and, and make sure she pulls this lift? I mean honestly I think just being more aggressive off the floor and just I mean that's all that's all you can really do at this point is just try to move that bar faster, faster off the floor. And it's the mental game, too, at this point. And as you said, it's tough to have to come out and almost follow yourself. Right. You know. And especially only having three minutes. But I mean, that's she's quick. got some great events to come. And I think coming into to this contest, all the athletes strategically look at these events and think, OK, this is my best event. This is my worst event. This event, damage control. Right. What can I do? She came and got that first lift, gets the point on the board. That's what I was just going to say. She's on, she's on the board. She's got points. You know, and for her, I'm sure this is just getting through this. Yeah. Yep. Sam Bellavo, second attempt now. This is her third and final lift. 505 is already in the, in the books, was not able to get 525 on her first shot. We'll see if the third try is the charm. The third lift is the charm for Sam Bellavo. This is her final lift. So can Sam. Let's go, Sam. Get Listen, this. Peacock Come in the on, background drive. Trying to get Needs the to be more aggressive. Her. Drive, drive, drive. No. Nope. Doesn't look like this is going to happen for Sam Bellavo. And that's tough. That's tough to come back after missing it the first time and, and come back on a second attempt. Yes. Sam Bellavo will leave the floor with a good lift at 5.05. And now Angelica Jardine, who came out earlier, looks like she's going to be ready to lift at 5.45. But let's take another look at Bellavo. Just needs to go away and keep training and get stronger at the deadlift there. You can see like the, the back is kind of giving out straight away as soon as she starts to pull on that bar. She's a fantastic athlete. We all have strengths and weaknesses, and we look forward to seeing more of Sam later in the contest. Now, Here is your Arnold Classic yeah. defending champion, Angelica Jardine, at 5.45 for her first of three attempts. And this was the one event that she dropped points on at the Arnolds. I think... The other women are going to be watching closely to see how much progress she's made because she just seems to improve at a rapid pace. Let's see how 540. And look how easy that was. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> 247 kilos, so 545 pounds of warm up weight wow. for Angelica Jardine. Wow. We just saw Sam Bellavo lift. Kiki Dixon has more on her. Kiki? Sam, she said that she expected to get that 525 pounds. She's gotten it before, obviously disappointed, but she's got her head in the game and says, look, there's five more events to go. So she's going to get back in here and fight it out for the rest of the weekend. Thank you, Kiki. Yes, as we mentioned, Sam Bellabo still has some very good events for her in front of her. As Donna Moore is getting set, it looks, for her second of three attempts. And she'll be going after 545 pounds as well. Donna Moore attempting 545. No straps again. Let's go, Donna. Come on. Come on. She's calling it. Now for people who may not watch a lot of Strong women, strong men competition. Why is that mixed grip so rare? 
Well, you don't really want grip to be the limiting factor when it comes to deadlift. And in strongman, where you're allowed to use straps, straps allow you to be a little bit more aggressive with the pull. They even allow the athletes to kind of almost start an inch higher. So they're trying to take every advantage you can. However, some athletes find the strapping onto the bar kind of puts them off. And Donna wants to almost just go straight down and get that stretch reflex straight into the bar. So she's trying to get everything tight, dive down. She, she knows her grip is strong. So she's not, you know, she's not worried about the grip strength. And she's trying to get that bounce down and up as quick as possible. Well, here comes Melissa Peacock. She's already hit 525. This will be her second attempt now, jumping up to 545 pounds, 247 kilos. You know, Mel's coming fresh off a win at the Shaw Classic. So she's definitely proven that you know, she's at, she's at the top. And we've, so. seen, we've seen Mel pull over 600. She pulled over 600 at the Arnold. There, easy. there you go. Easy. Great lift at 545 for Melissa Peacock. And she has fantastic form as well. She does. Really, really nice she body positioning. Keeps everything tight. Yeah, and she's a very, very good deadlifter. And just to repeat, on the left side of your screen are our scores. Anything in black, that's a number that the athlete has hit. Anything highlighted in white, is a weight that the athlete has yet to attempt. So Hannah Lindsay is going to come back out for her third and final lift. So interesting when athletes have to select their own weights because some will overplay what they think they can do, others massively underplay. Right. Oh, we saw that second attempt from Angela Cajardine and it looked like a warm-up still. Easy. Yeah. But she's only got one lift left now. It does her first. Was it her first? Okay. Oh, yeah, she came out and then... Early. Right, right, right. Mel had to come out. Now this will be the final lift for Hannah Lindsay. Let's go, Hannah. Come on, Hannah. Come on, Hannah. Come on, Hannah. Drive, drive, drive. Yes. Yes, she's yes, got this. She's got, got it. Got it. Come, come on. on. Come and on. Lindsay there reaches it up and she nice. hits it. 545. Good for the Swamp Monster. <laughs> three out of three that for Hannah awesome. Lindsay. That was awesome. A little more spewage. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> no shortage of characters on either side, men or the women. No. Do, you, do, you know, do you know what I love about watch. Hannah as well? She has been having a tough time. She's not in her best shape. We saw her go over 600 as well at the Arnold's. She's had some injuries coming into this, but she still gives 100%. 100%. And she's putting on a show for the crowd as well. She's just someone that loves to perform. Yes. She's definitely a showman. Oof. Dang. Man. Wow. No one can say she doesn't wow. give 100%. Wow. Looking at that in the replay. <laughs> just so much more intense in the replay. Donna Moore, who failed at 5.45, will make another attempt. Donna is really, you know, when we talk about raw lifts, you're, you're using as little equipment as possible. All she's coming out with is a belt. A belt. We're okay. seeing athletes that have underbelts. They've got the big, thick leather belt. They've got the straps, you know, the, 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 um, the neoprene shorts. Not for Donna, just the belt. Some smelling salts. Now those just kind of clear your head and right. yeah, give you some focus. Yep, she's gonna Chalk go on in. the hands. She's gonna attack the bar. Come on, Donna. Come Final on. lift for Donna Moore. Let's go, Donna. Drive, 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 drive. Oh, it's too much. Just not on the cards today. That's and that's smart to not keep trying. Just kind of call I it. Totally save your agree energy, with you. Save your energy. Yeah. So I love Donna. She's been around for so long. Will be her. <laughs> She is a legend. Top She's lift. a legend. Yeah. Well, you mentioned the, legend. the world's strongest woman competition from 2016 to 2019. I mean, she dominated that competition. She had three wins in a second in that time span. And I mean, she's had a bit, a bit of a, a, a kind of a real good year this year. She came second at Europe's strongest um, earlier this year. She's been really raising her level, and it's ever since Rogue Invitational announced this competition. Yeah. It's like it's kind of reignite that flame. Yeah, I, I think with the Arnold Pro Strong Women and the Rogue Invitational, it's kind of, like you said, it's reignite the flame and people that maybe have been around were just kind of like, is it ever going to happen? And then to actually have it happen and, and to be able to be here and be a part of it, like it's, it's uh, it definitely gets you going. Here's another, and then you have another athlete yes. here, Olga. Olga Lashuk is yep. 
out next. This will be her opening attempt. She's going after 565 pounds, 256 kilos on the bar. And yeah. Olga's deadlift recently has been very strong. Very, very training. good. And I think Olga's won every major competition you can win. Yeah. 15 international contests in her career, and she's won five of them. And this is going to nice. be nice, easy, just fine. Yep. It's a good start for her. No problem at all. So Lashuk in her first attempt is now our leader on the floor, but we still have four athletes to lift. <laughs> Rebecca Roberts and Inez Carrasquillo are the two women in the middle of your screen. Roberts is in the blue pants. Carrasquillo next to her. The two of them looking to open at 565 pounds as well. So athletes after their lifts have, I believe, 60 seconds? 60 to 90 seconds. 60 to 90 yeah. seconds to, to give the um, referees their next attempt. And there is no rule that you have to proceed sequentially. You can skip a platform. Absolutely. So for someone like Olga, who just pulled 565 easy, she may jump to 600. You know, it'll be interesting to see what she comes out at. Well, they have to start looking at what the other athletes are doing and right. kind of measure up. You know, you're going to watch your, your opponents and see how hard a certain lift was. Because at the end of the day, it's all about points. You want to start this competition well and put yourself in a good position. Right. As, as the positioning from this contest will then dictate who goes first on the next oh, event as well. Event, correct, yes. And that's where it comes down to strategy, like we talked earlier, is you know watching what the other athletes are doing and staying within your capabilities, but also trying to push yourself and it's go for broke. It's always nice so. when you know you're just strong enough to win, but sometimes you have to use your head as well. Yeah, it's point. It's, it definitely comes down to points. And Rebecca Roberts, the Welsh Wonder Woman, will be up next. The current world's strongest woman. And talking with her briefly, she said her training has just been amazing, phenomenal coming in here. She's she's feeling really ready, so it's going to be exciting to see what, what she does. Let's see what kind of shape yeah. the current world's strongest woman is in. Such a tall athlete. Rolls it in. There we go. Nice. And that will count for opener. Rebecca Roberts. 565 is good. Such a relief to get that first lift in, isn't it? Yeah, definitely you don't want to choose a weight and go out and miss your first attempt because no. that kind of sets up your mindset for the rest of the competition. So it's very important to come out here and, and have that good opener and get on the board. Three athletes have finished lifting, so we still have seven remaining. And Inez Carrasquillo will be up next at 565 pounds. Inez will be looking forward to the next event. But her deadlift has improved dramatically over the last few years here, opening with 565 pounds. Oh, and that was oh comfortable. Wow. wow. That's an opening <laughs> lift. Wow. She has clearly been putting in the work and training hard. That was effortless. That was easy. Wow. Juanez well, Carrasquillo like... with a warm-up lift <laughs> yeah. at 565. <laughs> That's what I was just going to say. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I probably could have got more than one rep while she was there. Just <laughs> oh, she could have ran the easy. groove. Look at her speed it up. So fast. She was actually slightly off balance as well, but it came up so fast. Wow. 
That was very powerful. Wow. Three women have now hit 565. Olga Lashuk, Rebecca Robertson, and Ez Carasquillo. And here comes Angelica Jardine. This will be her second attempt. She hit 545 earlier, and that looked easy. It really did. Two hundred fifty six kilos. And that is just as good. Five sixty five counts wow. for your defending Arnold Strongwoman Classic champion. And that's five pounds more than she pulled at the Arnold, and she still has one more lift to go. So let's talk about strategy here. You see Andrea coming at 585. You saw how easy that was for Angelica. As a coach, what do you call? Uh, if, I, if I was down there, you, you'd be telling to, um, Andrea to stick with the weight. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about Angelica. Oh, Angelica. I would have made Angelica li miss that lift. I would have made her go for the 85 as a second lift. Yeah. The way the, the, the first lift moved, she is looking super strong. I think, I think the fact that she's picking her own numbers is probably going to hold her back. If it was just like last man standing and they just kept going up and up, right. I think she'd pull way more than she thinks she's capable right. of. You watch how easy that moved. She is so much stronger than she thinks. This will be the third and final attempt for Melissa Peacock, 565. Let's go, Mal. And she's got nice. it. Nice. <sighs> nice pull. That was awesome. 565 to close things out for Melissa Peacock. But yeah, going back to Angelica, I would have made her go for the 585 as her second lift because I think she's probably going to come out and go for that next. 605, I hope. I, I hope. hope so. I hope you're right. <laughs> but I think in terms of tactics, it would have got her good points and then she could have gone for something really big. Now four women have made it through all three of their attempts. Angelica Jardine has one left. Lashuk, Roberts, and Carasquillo both have two left. And neither Andrea Thompson nor Lucy Underdown have yet to come out onto the competition I mean, floor. I mean, Lucy's at the, coming out at 625. So she may come out, pull one, and be done. She may well be. I mean, I'd save my... I, I would, as an athlete, I'd pull one and be done, save my energy. If you're that strong and you can do it, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. There's Andrea Thompson. The second oldest woman in the field. 42 years old. You know, Andrea, Donna, Olga, they've been doing so much for the strong woman community and, and bringing up the sport. And now to get this opportunity, they're, they're all so excited. Yeah. One world strongest woman back in 2018. She's going to open it 585. When we look at the whole contest, the, the real interesting battle for, for the deadlift becomes second place, because there's probably three athletes that could all kind of intertwine, and whoever can get that second place is right. going to put them in a really good spot. Now, there is a way that you have to grip this, and it looks like they shut that down. You have to... What's the rule on that? The rule is that their thumb has to be touching the bar. They're not allowed to use the straps and, and have the thumb coming away from the bar. So it must be contact at all times. So we've got to make sure those thumbs are attached to the bar, obviously attached to themselves. <laughs> and wow! Okay. All right. I knew that was going to be a warm-up for her. <laughs> wow, 585. That's just, amazing. Just trying to remind people that she's still dangerous. <laughs> I think she did. <laughs> no problem. Absolutely fantastic first lift. For Andrea so Thompson, good. I mean, that was, she probably could have cleaned that. <laughs> she is so much power from the floor. She has been such a good deadlifter. And remember, numbers yeah. on the left side of your screen that are highlighted in black, those are completed. Numbers in the white, those have yet to be attempted. Rebecca Roberts is now at 585. This is her second of three attempts. So 
Becker is strapped in. She uses that roll technique. Let's go back. Sit back. Drive, drive, drive. Come on. Come on. See her back immediately hit rounded. Absolutely. Yeah. That bar pulled her forward. Rebecca's such a powerful athlete, but she can still make a lot of progress in terms of technical yeah. prowess. Get your head in it. Come on. She needs to tighten up that back. This is important for Rebecca as well. She wants to get come a good on, come on, That's come better. Come on, come on, come on. That's better. Oh. She did well to improve on the second attempt she because did. it's very Very hard yes. to come back after a fail. Well, the good news for her is that's only her second attempt. Oh. And she got better on that second try. She'll get a chance to take some rest here and then come back out and attempt this one more time. And she's going to take a full three minutes of rest here. As, and as Carasquillo is going to step up. Innes was impressive on that opening lift. I think this is going to be smoked as well. <laughs> so fast. 585 now. Let's see if that's oh, any man. more of a challenge for Carrasquillo, who absolutely just demolished 565. So we're up to 265 kilos, 585 pounds for Inez Carrasquillo. Nice. That is good. As you can see it slowed down a little bit towards the lockout, but still a very strong very lift. Very fast off the floor. So fast. And that will tie Andrea Thompson for the best lifts we have seen so far. Incredible speed off the floor. So said. fast. She's maintained position and kept pulling hard. It was a really good lift. Look at that. Hips through, locked out. Perfect. So far, two for two for Inez Carrasquillo. Now, Angelica Jardine, this will be her final lift, 585 pounds. And I think she's capable of more than this. I really do. She's just so, she's so new. Exactly. She and she just doesn't I, know what she's capable of. I, I totally agree with you. I think she, it's scary, the potential that this young lady has. Let's see Come if on. this extra 20 pounds makes a difference. I can't see it. She's powerful. Easy. That Easy. is good. So good. good. For <laughs> Jardines, 585 <laughs> for She's her happy. final lift. She should be happy. It's a PB, I believe. It's certainly a competition PB. Yeah. But it's you do feel that there's more there. But she's progressed from what she did in the Arnold's, and let's remember she won the Arnold's. Right. Oh, she, yes, she did. So convincingly, and the deadlift was the, <laughs> the weakest result for her there. Yeah. Now Rebecca Roberts is going to come back out to try and succeed at 585. Got close on her second attempt the last time she was here. What, she, what can she change from the first attempt? She walks up to that bar with confidence. She just pulls hard. I, I, I know it's going to go up. She just has to really just pull. Sit back and pull. Drive. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Not today, unfortunately. Yeah. Rebecca Roberts fails at 585. So her final score, 565 pounds. Right now, that's got her tied for fourth place. And it's really tough as an athlete to go out there and miss something and then come back and be confident you're going to pull it the second time. It's so hard. It's yeah. very, very rare you see someone pull a deadlift after failing it. Yeah. And still, we are yet to see I was just the say world that. record holder, Lucy Underdown. <laughs> Olga Lashuk for her second attempt, Coming in going up to 6.05. Getting some serious weight on the bar now. Yes, there is. 274 kilos. For anyone that's never sniffed that ammonium, it just kind of Man, it, <laughs> pops it is, up your nose and it hits, hits you. you. It's it's the instant wake-up call. She's got this 
straps on, she's got the shin protectors, strong belt, and a whole lot of power. She's such a powerful athlete. There you Smooth. go. Smooth. Nice. And Great lift. Good, good for LeShuck. <laughs> 6.05 for her that second nice. of three attempts. That was amazing. That was She's so your good. leader on the floor. So Still good. has one attempt remaining. And that still looked fairly... She didn't really hey, struggle she's, on that She's one. got more, definitely. That was a great pull. Once she got off the floor, she just drove right through that, yep. hips through. That was good. <laughs> Inez Carrasquillo. For her third and final lift, she's jumping up to 6.05 as well to match LeShook. lift so far. Oh, there you go. Come on. She's Come got on. this. Finish Come it. on. Finish it. Finish it. it. Nice. Lock the knees. Three. Awesome. She gets a down signal. 605 awesome. pounds, and you can so see good. what it means to her. That's huge. 605 for Nez Carrasquillo. She goes three for three, and right now tied for the lead with Olga Lashuk at 605 pounds. And we have three athletes left to complete all three of their lifts. I've got to say, I think they, they kind of got the perfect selection of weights there. They did. For Inez. Yeah, that was perfect. That's exactly what you want at the end. You want to, you want to struggle, but you want to, you you want to really make want it. To finish it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you can see her face. That was, that was tough, but that was super impressive. She's happy. That satisfaction of you know so you've happy. locked it out. <laughs> so fun. Well, it's awesome. also knowing that you put yourself in a really great position, Absolutely. regardless of what happens with the rest of these athletes going into the rest of the and, competition. And, you know, our next event is very, very advantageous for, for Ines, so she's going to be looking forward to that. That's a great deadlift. We have our first Lucy Underdown sighting. She's going to open at 625. Imagine that being your own. I can't imagine that being my opener as a woman. Like, it's just crazy. She's just in a league of her own. I, I know can't a lot imagine of my opener who, as a man. Yeah, I know a lot of <laughs> men who couldn't move this. Oh, my goodness. Two hundred eighty-three kilos on the bar here. 625 for Lucy Underdown. Again, her first lift. And look at that. Yep, Easy. that's why she's the favorite. <laughs> Easy. Oh, my goodness. Do you know what? She's such a friendly, lovely lady, but so, so strong. Oh. And it's like, she's almost apologetic of how easy it is. Right, right. I think she's also <laughs> apologizing for, I'm sorry, but this is now a battle for second. Yes. <laughs> it's an impressive lift for Lucy Underdown. Still has two attempts remaining, and she may not need to make all of them. Now Andrea Thompson for her second attempt, trying to match Underdown at 625. <laughs> Setting up. Here we go. 625 pounds, second attempt, Andrea Thompson from the UK. Great lift there wow. by Andrea. So maybe putting a wow. little pressure, just a little bit on underdown. Making her have to Making think her about think things. a she little bit. 625, impressive attempt for Andrea Thompson. She still has one left. Olga Lashuk also has one attempt left, and underdown has two remaining if she needs them. Wow. Superb power again off the floor. 
Magnus strong Magnus lock. You can yeah. see the lockout is slightly harder, but still very, very strong lift. And that was second attempt for Andrea. Now we have Olga coming out for her final attempt. Also going for 625 pounds. And she hits this, the worst she can do is third place in the event. I love that a rogue, there's no super suits allowed, it's pure power. The super suits give you a lot of spring off the floor. Here, you've got to generate that power yourself. And lifting over 600 pounds is just crazy, crazy weight. Uh, it's, it's very, very heavy. 625 for Olga Lashuk. There you go, come on, come on, come on. Nice. There we go, nice. And she will get it. So good. <laughs> She has to be super happy with that. Again, good selection yeah. of weights. She's so. happy. <laughs> Guaranteeing herself at worst a third place finish here in this opening event. Now we're down to two athletes, Andrea Thompson and Lucy Underdown. Great lift for Lashuk as Underdown's going to come back out. Just point her towards a heavy barbell and she'll probably lift it. <laughs> so this is 665 pounds. Which is the last of our nine bars on the floor. So after this, she's going to that main state, the main platform. Well, she may not even need to, depending on what Thompson does, because Thompson only has one lift left. So Underdown now at 665. Six hundred and sixty-five pounds, and it's she's working for it, but it's a great lift. <laughs> and even a smile at the top. It's like, oh, that was harder than I thought. <laughs> Three hundred two kilos, six sixty-five. Good for Lucy Underdown as she creeps closer to an event win here. I don't know about you, Laws, but when I have six hundred sixty-five pounds in the barbell, I tend to smile and laugh a little bit too as I'm struggling to get it to my waist. <laughs> Watching the women is so much fun. They, they really are. You won't see an Evan Singleton laughing like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was a little surprised that was harder than she thought. Yes. Yeah, just face. around the knee area. Yeah. She was strong off the floor. The lockout yeah. was strong. It was just that mid-phase. Yeah. Maybe the bar drifted away slightly, but still more than strong enough to complete the lift. Well, now Andrea Thompson is going to try to match her at 665 and still keep the pressure on Underdown, who has one lift remaining. This is the third and final attempt. And this this would Thompson. be a PB for Thompson. So this is this is a huge lift for Andrea. She's been chasing this for a while. A long time. A long time. Oh, come on, Andrea. Come and Lucy on. back there cheering her on, and that's one of the great things so about good. this sport. And about this community. This is the support that they show each other in, in a competition. So Andrea this, Thompson now third and final attempt, 665. This would secure second place and be a personal best lift. Come on, Andrea, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Woo! And look at the She gets yes. it! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Andrea Thompson at 665! Oh my god. And look who's the first woman to oh, congratulate her. Amazing. That is fantastic. Oh, Oh my gosh. So, so good to see. Oh, that is incredible. That is just incredible. She's chased what a that lift for so well. long. She oh, really has. She's so been chasing long. that number. 665, over 300 kilos. And you can see the emotion on her face. I mean, that means look, so much. That was easy. So easy. <laughs> Watch the reaction from Underdown in the back. Lucy in the back. That's Lucy, great. so happy. First person <laughs> to so congratulate great. her as well. They are great friends. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really exciting. That's well, under so cool. down now has a little work to do to win this thing. Got to get back out for her third and final she's attempt. Now she's got to switch on. 
And she's going to 685. This for the win. And this is the final bar. This is the it. first time we've seen the final bar used. Come on, Lizzie. 311 kilos. Six eighty-five. Just there's a lot of men that can't even touch that. <laughs> For the win. Come on, Lucy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Lucy. Come on. There we go. Yes. Another down has it, and she will start off the 2024 Rogue Invitational with a victory. Six hundred eighty-five pounds and ten points for Lucy Underdown. <laughs> Brilliant Relieved. start to this competition. <laughs> oh, so fun. In the end, maybe not as dominant as we expected from Lucy, but she did what she had to do. Perfect start to the competition. Andrea Thompson in second place. Olga Lesha with 625 pounds. What a deadlift contest. That was a lot of fun to watch. Four athletes going over 600 pounds. Wow. And all of Lucy's fellow competitors, just about everyone out there, to congratulate her on the victory. A couple great moments there to close out the competition, but this was the one that locked it up for Lucy Underdown. Less smiling that time. That was the business <laughs> lift. That was the money lift. And that's a champion that can dig deep, even though you're maybe not at your absolute best. Deadlift is a very hard event to be peaking at all the time. There's been a number of big lifts she's had to do this year, but she came here and got the win. Lucy Underdown, the winner of the deadlift. 685 pounds is the lift that does it for Underdown. She'll take first place. Andrea Thompson with a personal best that she's been chasing for a while. Hits it at 42 years old. She finishes in second, and Olga Lashuk rounds out the top three. Let's send it down to Kiki Dixon. Lucy, congratulations on your event win. This is the first time we've had the pleasure of the strong women to join the Rogue Invitational. What does it mean to you to be here? Oh, it means so much for us to be here. It's like to promote women's sport and to, to be able to show that you can be any shape, any size, any age, and compete and just do something and you can achieve anything that you can. It's, it's important for us to show you that. Thank you so much. You earned yourself a PB today. What was that like? Oh, I've been fighting for 300 kilos for about two, three years. And to get it on this stage, <laughs> I'm, I'm very emotional, so I'm going to cry. Um, but I'm just, I'm ecstatic with my performance, and I've worked really hard. Um, but as Lisa said, you know, we're here to represent women of all shapes, sizes, and ages. Um, and we're just here to put on a good show this weekend. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Now, you were the favorite to win this event, but you got to stay smart about it. What is your method or your mantra when you're about ready to hit a deadlift? Um, when I'm hitting a deadlift, I don't really think about anything. <laughs> I have a lot of internal panic, um, but I have to try and keep it cool on the outside. Um, but I knew Andrea was in good form, and I knew that she was really capable of the 300 today, so I knew I needed to be on top form. And Andrea is one of the first people that welcomed me into this sport, so it's amazing for me to be on this stage with her. Congratulations. Back to you, Sean. We got a PB, and we got a victory. Andrea Thompson with a personal best at 665. Lucy Underdown with the win at 685. For all the official scores and results, you can go to roguefitness.com. Well, that did not disappoint, Kristen. That was very, very exciting. Uh, just to, to see Andrea pull that uh, personal best she's been chasing for so long, like that was really, really fun to see. And Lucy had to, Lucy had to work. So it was, it, was a, it was really nice to see the, all the women come out and, and do their best today. And it's exciting to see what's gonna happen from here. The women are done. The men coming up next. Lucy Underdown gets to cheer for her friend and for herself. Stay with us, everybody. The big weights are still out on the floor as the 2024 Rogue Invitational continues.